Well, here we are then at the Orium in Edinburgh for match day three in the Nathan Charles League group stage for 2018. And we are getting ready for a showdown. Calculators might be out, but the simple mathematics is that Glasgow need to win by at least 2 0 or better. 1 0 is enough, any other win will do. Currently, next now, a draw or win for them will be enough. What is 1 0 to City and the like another game at Ainsley Park could go through. So, a bit of calculations, but it is one of those big Champions League games in the rain in Edinburgh today. To the teams for Gornick Lexner, just the one change. Goalkeeper change from their terrific winning against Andalite. Anna Polanska is back in for Claudia Koloska. It's a side which has three minute Conan players previously. Two of those in Kamzik and Bolsasak played against Glasgow City in 2014 that lost in the knockout stages. Sakura is the other who's on the bench. For City themselves, well, Donna Patterson failed a late fitness test, so she was going to come in, but a bit of a change. So the only change in the end is Lee Alexander coming in for Aaron Clark. It's a settled side who are looking to play better than what they did against uh, Anderlecht in match day one. So it is a big day. Great crowd, plenty of support. The referee is Tanya Subotic. And off we go then, it is the Polish champions to get us going. And this is their first time in the UFO Women's Champions League, taking over the mantle and pulling from Medic Conant with uh, a big win and a, a surprise win to some, although they won't say it against Andalic. Like Stephen, what are you expecting from this one? Well, it's the top two seeds in the group. Today, Glasgow City number one, Lexna number two. So, uh, hopefully, going to be some good quality football out there. Hopefully, going to be lots of chances and hopefully, going to be. A few good goals. Guitar in the from Leon Crichton. Looked like it should have been a Glasgow City ball, but has been given in the end after a bit of a deliberation. with a little flick comes off on that scat prevented it from perhaps going out for the corner McCoolis was there to pick up Doherty fires in just past Ivanusa it was a flyer of a delivery a positive early ball to the box inside in 90 seconds from Connick Lakes now with Oscar was the intended target who was there I guess was the player that was hacking in one or two times it's a free kick He goes long care, trying to get the flick on. Close to our best to try and keep it alive. Control there from Judenek. I guess was around Grabowska helping out. Good space, Grzwinska. The pace of Kamshak out wide, just running too far. She was a threat against Anderlecht a few days ago on the break.
Leanne Crichton complaining about a foul throw, but there's some poles that have the free kick. She took her time and made an injured neck. Roving down, Carla Jarrett's only. You maybe to say a brief call, but I don't think so. She's played so well in the last couple of months, three months. Been involved in pacing and sliding in in the greasy surface. Grant worked it out in space, well, only a couple of orange bodies there, even though I tried her best. Crichton, it must have been here's even though that. Great play for Kulis. Grant in the centre, it's only half cleared, even though Sarah actually bundled over up, says the referee, Joe Love, trying to scoop it back. Away goes Kuzwinska to try and break away. Well, early talking point, Stephen. It's got to be a penalty. She's going to go in, she's maybe not quite set properly for taking the shot, but she's in the right position and she, uh, I'm not sure who it was coming in from behind has, has taken her out and... It's a foul. That's a hand, she's maybe thought it was a dive. Uh, I think she's sort of slipped in the rain. That, that is a greasy surface. Crichton trying to go for something cute through the middle, but Solinska has it covered. Not the most convincing of kicks on Polinska. Love for Grant. Flag stayed down. Kerr dispossessed and Svinska, here is the threat on that break. Kamzik, Gerasoli gets there ahead of Zuznek. Swinska just dotting off Foley's head. Shiela with the quick throw. Space for Ross. Oh, and slightly misguided header from Douglas there for Coolis. Need some help. Here's Doherty. Coolis juggling with it well. It is a city throw in. He doesn't find anyone in orange. I was trying down the other channel, just skipped away off to Swinska. 
Foley for Kerr. Barely for the old uh, time wasting 10 minutes in the game. Kick the ball in the coordinate on the right. Docker tape. Oh, not quite what Grant was intending. to hear from Coolis. Grant was trying to hit the end little pop clearance from Matt Check. Plenty of players surrounding Grant, but got the ball away, Doherty. Back with Ross. in play there despite the pressures on the whole side the home side should neck someone's going down that channel good lay off there comes it Love loose for care. Long ball for to uh, Alexander gets there in front of Kamzik. Space for Kulis to try to rattle through Daigus. The advantage here in space. Grant making the run, but too close. It's going to come here for Lonska's advantage. Not working out, but good strength from Kulis. Back to her feet, bounced off the challenge.
Long and here's Kamchik. Fully pushed that way, but that was, looked very simple as a way of opening up the city defence. Long it goes, Kerr from this forward this time. That check around, is it going to be a corner? It is. Kerr wasn't giving that one up. It's great effort there from Sam Kerr. The kind of thing that Glasgow City need in a game like today just to keep working at it because it might, you don't know how late they're going to have to keep working for it at the moment. And this is an early chance for them. And interestingly, Looks like Sam Kerr's going to take it here, which is different to the usual. So Sam Kerr to take this corner. Goes short with Doherty. Great pace, coolest name in there. Gerasoli around too. And it bounced through to her, couldn't quite get the control she wanted, but it was a ball with some pace in. I think the defenders just put Carly off there as she's went to take the shot. the same kind of way. Aye. I don't know what it is, but I think if they go 1-0-0 at half time, I think we'll come out and start playing better in the second half. Mm. Aye, six goals, they need to score, so. Yeah. with some great pressure to turn the possession over. Cool, that's good play there for Doherty. That's going to be a free kick, is it? Well, no. Play odds is the ref and well, there was a lot of argy bargy going on around match check and I thought the free kick was going to come the other way, but refs had play on. It's one of those ones you expect the foul. She's not done anything deliberately wrong, but it's a foul. Thrown in towards Grant. Coolis. Even this time with the control, can't you get the turn? Scramble. Here's Crichton trying to poke it in. And, well, despite all the half cries of anything of a penalty, Crichton kept on going and tried to poke in a little shot. You see a lot of those kind of decisions in the box where the referee maybe doesn't give something and you think she should. Uh, Crichton's done brilliantly just to forget about what the referee's doing, play to the whistle, gets the shot away. It's a really good chance. And the 20th one at the end. Leon Ross then back on corner duty. Trying to slowly bundled over.
Coolis managed to wriggle, saves for Doherty only. Even though she's in the air, it's too deep for her. Goodbye, Mishkiora. Kerr, no advantage coming for one. Cam Jick. A couple of options went to Docker Tate. Smooth from Kornetska. Kill is looking to turn towards even the shot. Oh, there's space in the centre. Kerr, Grant and Crichton both not getting there and Kamjic that'll be scooped up by Ross. They're getting balls into the box but they're not quite finding that end product. Not quite at the moment but that good defending there from Leanne Ross and Carly Girasoli at the back because that could quite easily have been the counter that Lexner were looking for for the opening goal. Coolison can't combine in well. City ball. Short for Doherty. Here by Grawowska. Cam check for Zudnek. Slipping a slide in the middle of the park for Cam Jack. Okay, with the charge down and having Grant on the chase. And that's because he's got time. Ross <laughs> that was a mini heart stopper. Get your distance this way again! Have a look! Long Dogate wasn't quite sure. But Alexander gave the shout. Ross spots Grant on the run. Swinska is a tall unit, and Grant trying to put the pressure on. Kind of midfield forward, that way I'm talking about no pace at the back. Yeah. Thank 
Otozak, Grabowska away. Matsek. She's now back with Grabowska. And the ball very tight down there with Kulis and Dockerton around. Kerr. Advantage here for Abby Grant to roll, even though Sam making the run. Grant still going, has the strike, but straight into the hands of Polanska. There was options left and right, but took it on herself. It's a good counter attack, but I think Abby Grant's just you should play in, even though so she's in a better position. If she plays her in two or three touches before she goes for the shot, even though she's going to be in the position to get a, a Problems decent Problems here at the other end, sack making the pass for Groska in a little intervention challenge, which is very important because there was a space cut right open. Definitely a touch from Joe Love. Not quite the first touch coolest would require, but Doherty. Free kick to City. One from Doherty. Very comfortable. Crichton tried to write the challenge from Bolsazak. Grabowska fully hands the marshalling of Kamzik. I guess Kulis, great play, but couldn't find the pass. Here is Love, though. Foot fully in Ross under pressures there. Matchick was around. Even though shot bundled over. Half an hour on the clock. Players in the box switch to Doherty. No. Doherty the fire, but cross no shot in the end. Doesn't work out. Too high for Grant, who's furthest forward. I always like seeing their free kicks in the corners. And they always do try something different. Mm. Come on, Ali, come on, Ali, come 
Oh, a little slip can Grant profit here. She can. Amy Grant, big chance. Keeps on going. Oh, and it's taking too long and it's going to be nonchalantly cleared away. Free kick, Kulis. Going to get a yellow card here. But the slip from Kraswinska, I think it was. And Grant just took a few seconds too long. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just, just shoot. It's so simple, you think. But the, the, I think maybe credit the defence there that they've, they have recovered. The keeper's come out, closed the angle. They've got back across as well to block the shot when Abby Grant does eventually take it. But the more touches she takes, do you think the, the chance diminishes? Rotska on the other side. Docker is sending it long again for Grant. There's a slippy surface, Gornitska there. Polinska had just enough time. Here's Flick. Space here for Grant. There's Joe Love. And there is the opening goal. 33rd minute. And Joe Love, with an experience here, she knows how to do it in the Champions League for Glasgow City. And she's done it there. Right place, right time. That's a great work move from Glasgow City. You could hear Leanne Crichton ordering the, the throw in about getting the players in the right position. Felt even though so maybe came a bit too quickly as Grant picks up the ball, but she reacts well, and it's that's what's created the space in the box because she's drawn the defender away. Joe loves free in space. Abby Grant finds her, and it's one nil. Superb moment for City, and it's just what they wanted. And it does mean that Grant Lesnar have to come out now because they need at least a point. So it could be favourable for City as well. A home crowd delighted. Free kick for Abby Grant. I'd probably say 33 to Semantic. Coolest way yellow card as well. Here's Grant. Okay, I was going to give away a foul this time. Be aware, be aware. Mm. Yeah, so as it stands under left, we're going through there. 4 0 up against Marco. <laughs> so. Good play here, Matt Schick. Rewalska. Good control and it's just wide of target. Alexander knew it was going wide of target, but Zudnik is one of their key forwards and does score goals for them, but wide. In a way it wouldn't have mattered had the ball went in because Glasgow City can't go through unless they score twice. But Again, you can hear Scott Booth, he wants perfection from his team, he wants the, the defence to be right. Lee Alexander knew exactly where it was going, but maybe a question to be asked elsewhere. Andalite comfortably winning against Martov, so at th this point, in this juncture, Andalite would be going through. Fully only finds Swinska. The dismay of City head coach. Handball from Kamjik on the floor, was it? 
but somehow come through. Now Grant is motoring only one around, three coming back. She needs some support. Coolis in the centre. Block came in, so they'll take the throw. Fully finds even a shot. Care for Crichton. It's got a nice play from Zudnik. Grabowska, not in the wavelength, Kamchik. That was poor. Grabowska collected it, and Matchik is there. Alexander has to make a crucial stop. And that is going over there from Bolsasak. And one or two little errors in defence in the last couple of minutes for City, and that was a, a great pass through, and we know the threat of Kamchik. Yeah, indeed. And this is Lexner now in the territory where they need to get something to go through. The dynamic of the game has changed, and they're starting to create more chances. And that's what Glasgow City are going to have to watch. Not only do they need to score, but, I mean, one goal doesn't make a difference in terms of Glasgow City going through, but it might dent the confidence and that can have a massive effect on the game. Right old scrap, Kulis in there. Rowska in the thick of it too and she's back up. Kulis involved again. Space for Zudnek, Ross back and love to clear. It has things have opened up because both teams now looking for a goal. Although there's still plenty of time in the in the contest. Kamchik had support there. Megan Foley went back and she gets the free kick. Great defending. Very well done. Doherty, those hopeful ones looking to see if Grant can get in the end. Oscar clattering on the floor with the free kick given against Doherty. Even if she doesn't shout dramatically like that, they're going to get the foul. Bit silly. Over five minutes to half time. That's Jan Gunnitska with the long free kick. Gerasoli and Ross partially clear it. They do now a bit more. Kulis and Doherty. And now there's not many back here. Gunnitska having to get there ahead of even Usa. Polinska's not got a lot of time. Kaiten with the header on. Space for Kamsik. Gets by Foley here. Problems perhaps. Not quite finding Grabowska. Grant and Kerr try to run it out. And another strong challenge. Grabowska on the floor again. Yell card this time. Flung in Sam Kerr's direction. I think the yellow was a bit harsh. The, the, the pace that she's running in at is maybe made it look more dramatic than it than it actually is. It's a good chance now for Lex. And this is the kind of thing that 
they'll have been looking for to get up there. The way it's opened up, though, Glasgow City have had half chances on the counter. If they can get one of them right, that could be the second goal. And then again, the dynamic of the game changes with the next goal, if there is one. Well, we're coming to meeting going on. Well, we've seen something you can see from a free kick on the other side. That was whipped in against Anderlecht. See what the plan is here. Gerastoli heads it high. Take the corner. It wasn't aimed anywhere other than just clearing it away. Tell us if that was the intention. Corner kick then, it looked like they were going to take the time. Zunek around, Alexander with a punch away. He's having a couple of terrific moments. Here's even Usa now. Could be a break on, it's two against two. There's three or four coming back. Even has not got the pace to try and do it all way, and she didn't play the pass on. Kulis was looking for it on the far side. They do have the free kick though. I think if it was someone just a little bit more pacey on the ball, that, that was a really, really good opportunity. Two and a half minutes left in the first half, Ross with a opportunity. Have the lead through Joe Love. Sneaky one towards even the shot. Drawing the defenders out. Too long from Leanne Rostock. Carousel ahead of Grabowska. Matt Sick. Jeanette <laughs> Cowboy with care. Well, that's loose there. Go net scan. Even though Sam Grant combined, there is green bodies back. Grant looking to try and find something perhaps. Maybe she'll cut in. Grant, it's a dry which only is into the path of Polanska. Great ball from Even though to the set Grant goes maybe a little bit too far wide. But she's done well to cut inside and get the shot away. Maybe a different option. The shot wasn't the best, but then she can hit them a lot better from there and she knows that. Space for Kamchuk here has got on the wrong side of Foley, but she's just dragged the ball out of play. Goal kick. Five, four, three, two, That's half time then. Grand City are halfway there. They have got the goal. Been patient against the Connell Extra side who are fairly comfortable just sitting there, but now they need to score to have any chance. They need at least one point. Glasses and they need another goal because any win other than 1 0 will get them through. Stephen, an exciting second half in prospect or a tense one. It definitely will be. I think I think the fact that Glasgow City are in front might actually work against them because Lexner have come out now and they are creating chances and they're looking quite well set up to be able to just keep doing that in the second half. They've got to be wary at the back, Glasgow City. The benefit to Lexner doing that though is that they're wide open on the counter attack. Abby Grant, uh, Larry Vanusa, Lydia Koulis, they've all got chances to run at that defence now. 
and to run it maybe just the one player at times. So stay solid at the back and work a counter attack. And then yes, they've got a very very good chance of going through now. Half time at the Orium then is Gonnet Leicester nil, Glasgow City one. Okay, second half, already underway then, change for Ronit Leshna. So Zoska is on for Balsazak. Hoping here that there will be home excitement at the Orient. Big 45 head, both sides need to score. Ronit Leshna, they need a, a draw. City need at least two goals and then anyone will do it. Brighton, Grant Shadowin, Swinska. Swinska says for Zudnek, forward here for Zovzovska, who's uh, just came on. Grabovska, Alexander, middle anti action inside the first 60 seconds of the second half. Really good save from Lee Alexander, it's a good effort as well. Grant in a foot race with Sawinska. Grant still going here. Absolutely no support though, and whatever that was in the end didn't work out. But big chance went the end, and Grant was racing away to that. She's got so much pace, she just needs to hold it up for a second or two. If only someone had been up there with her. If only. Good energy at the start of the second half from the Polish side. A bit of a theatrical fall from Sobostowska from Love's Challenge. Just a turn from Zudnek. Kamshik just a little too high for her. Because she know that's going to steal away. Rubbish. Even though she had a good little flick, which she fouled. Vantage was trying to be played, but Leon Crichton will put the ball in the air, but keeper stopped. One that was one of those touch and go ones that could have developed, but wasn't quite the first touch. So the referee pulled it back. She didn't look offside, but yeah, good decision when the flags went up there uh, by the referee. Let it play on as much as she could and has brought it back to for the initial foul. Four months into the second half yet. A little chat, but 
Ross to deliver. Jarosoli was lurking. Stays in play for Leanne Crichton. Not happy with that. Very vocal in their disappointment with the cross. I mean, she really did not look offside. Love filling it towards Grant's direction. It was headed away by Gornitska. Here's Crichton. Rode the challenge of Griswinska. Slipped through here looking for Kulis and Gornitska gets the slide in. It's getting greasier and greasier as the rain comes down it heavier. Launched into the Likes in the bo box. Oh, that comes Kamjik. Even this side with the block. Strange fouls going in here from the throw-ins from Gronit that and Kamsik is looking innocent but she's going to pick up a yellow card here. Strange couple of incidents. down there looking for Grant Swinska keeps it away from the corner it is a throw in a good position fully here not good enough to pick out care Good ball here for Cam Sick fully the foul. Fifty four minutes played, Gushy are with the Free kick, flag up. Quickly! Quickly! 
nice mouth of it, so just a free single time. Dennis Oli, Love and Gaunt combined. Loose from Ross. Wants to win that foot race. She does have a head start against Kamchik. Sure, quickly Kamchik again. Fortunately for her to the slide, the slip from Zawistovska. Now the break. Crichton and now Kulis. Grant through the middle in big space here. Kulis trying to get it right. Here is Grant, picked out. Blocking from Swinskin at the right time. Here's Joe Love. Got the first pass, the seconds deflected. It's a corner. Took a deflection. Joe Love almost replicating the goal against Martiv. It's a great effort again from Joe Love. Really well worked with Coolis and Crichton to get the opportunity in the first place. I thought it was just a wee bit in front of Abby Grant. I think she should have buried it, but they followed it up really well. And you super touch the referee from Slovenia having a bit of a chat. Ross to deliver. Came off the head of Gornitska. Grant was trying to get in the end of it. Savinska, in for Kamchik. Fully matched enough for pace. And then good marshalling from Megan Foley. Handball clearly, but if he says accidental. Because you're in love with miscontrol. Sure, that looked pretty theatrical. And well, the yellow card again. I'm surprised they didn't just carry the play on, but maybe nothing happening. And well, I think a bit of applause all the way around for that one. It's the right decision. It was silly from. Uh, I don't know. What, I don't know why players think they can do that, but the referee has got it spot on. Ross surveying her options to even this up. She ought to around fully. Driven low can, even though she get there, not quite. Kerr gets turned. Long here for Silverstovska. Cool from Alexander. Coolest switch of pace. Switch of space. Doherty, that's a great ball here, Grant on the first time and skies it over, you can see what she was trying to do, it was one of those that probably had to take because it was going well by her Yeah, she just, she's got to go for it there, she does really well to get on the end of it, just gets too much on the ball if she can get the connection right there It's a great opportunity for them Sure just about keeping it in play. There's the assistant. Fully now. Love. Time here for Kashiora. Kamchek. Jarasoli gets on the road. Crichton. 
has been played back and France has got to play this. Iwanisha, love. Thought about the lob for a second and instead will try and pick out Grant, but both sides just going for it now. In some ways it's very open compared to the first half an hour or so before City scored. Goals change games. Susan Eck across for Daigus. Ross away. And not troubling Alexander with that speculative try. First time. That's a chance for Gornick. They've got into a really good position. She's not as far away necessarily as she looks. If she can get her body over the ball, keep it down, that would have been a really good chance for them. That's spinned away for Doherty. Another lunge and another loud yell. Rothskath or Wasfeld. Leo, it's Alexander deflected off. So it's Tosca. Will get away with it. And this will that. And fully combined. Well, the first moment that's caused problems for the city keeper. Just sure, again, fall to the floor very easily. And with the yellow card as well. Let's go City Ball. Quickly taking in space for Doherty. That's not what was in the plan, Rick. Rain getting heavier and heavier here at the Orient. Good play there. So it's off for Zudnik. That check around. Space for Zudnek and Kamchik. Looked like it took a deflection for a corner, but the goal kick's been given. Yeah, it likes not creating chances. They've been doing really well, especially this second half. And that's that's probably actually their best chance. The, they've got in behind Glasgow City, they've got the ball across, she's beaten the defender to it, and she'll be really disappointed she hasn't got the effort on target. I'll have to watch. Yeah. Ian and Gushiora again. That's a high and Grant winning that one in the air and going to try herself and Ponska with the stop. A couple of players around, but Grant only ever is going to try herself. Terrific try. 
and that's much more like Abby Grant. That's that's been our best chance of the game, at our second best chance of the game, and she's produced a really good stop out the goalkeeper from it. Sixty fifth minute, then Ross and Joel have around again. Only cleared as far as Grant. Ross stretched a little bit. Too close to Polinska. Hartley's under, pre under pressure. Matt. Well read by Kamsek. So a soft scat. Crichton interrupts. Fully down the channel. Swinska ahead of Grant. Long it went, coming together fully. Cam check here. There you go, fully getting the yellow card. And well, it's a dangerous free kick position, but I don't know if they can fully do much else. Well, Luke takes one half a dozen of the other, to be perfectly honest. They're both going for the ball, they're both stretching for it. I mean, if the referee's deeming that Foley's taking her out, then you could argue it's the, it's the last player challenge as a, as a red card. I, I would say in that situation it would be very, very harsh. It seems harsh to give her a yellow card though when both players have put in the same same amount of effort, same kind of challenge to get to the ball. Well, it should be a bit of a thorn in the side of Glasgow City in the second half for other reasons. But some theatrical falls, but Agata Kichira with her chance from the dead ball spot here to get in the level terms. But never coming down. That's a great position for them as well. I mean, part of me thinks that if, if Lex were to score, Glasgow City would actually ironically have a better chance of going and winning this because they would just sit back and they would take the one each, definitely. Yeah, with both needing to score, it's almost a case of who blinks next. Tanya Subotech not to have with Jura Soli and Zolistovka. Zolistovka. Get there. And then the end. Free kick. Uh, thrown rather going. Slipping out the hands. Two or three of these foul throws we've seen. That one looked very much due to the. the Conditions in the wall. And the referee has seen it. That seemed to slap out of hands. Yeah. Didn't you notice if the ones been there were the same? Jonas only half cleared. It's Finn Scott. So it's tough Scott. Throw in position. Find support. Oh, is that a foul? Is it just outside the box on Doherty? It's definitely outside the box. It's a silly, silly challenge. And uh, again, it gives Lex a good chance to to get the ball in here. And they've got a few tall players. One of them gets on the end of it. You never know. Yeah. 
So we're 20 minutes to go then. Another good free kick chance. It's low towards Kamchik. Grant, when they try and burn some pace with Dargus. Kerr alongside. There's plenty of space here. Liam as well. Grant went to self. Not quite picking out Kerr thought in the way there was Savinska. Doherty wins back. Foot race. Savinska's going to get there. And it's not going to quite go out. It is a Next the ball in the end. I wonder if Grant thought about passing that a bit quicker. There could have been a, a chance for Kerr. If it was a striker running through, the different run would be made, and I think Abby Grant would have slipped her through. Grant turns. Right in. Grant. Foley. Kerr. Kerr opens the space up. And Clatner, body's keeper, didn't quite hold it the first time, did Polinska, but no one in orange was there to capitalise. A couple of question marks over the defending as well. A bit out of shape. Likes the defence trying to attack and turn here from Ivanusa. Oh, it's off the woodwork. Somehow managed to get shot away from that tight an angle. I think one or two were thinking, chance is gone, but managed to get a strike away. Exactly what I was thinking, and when she first hits that, it looks as if it's going to nestle in the side net and the wrong side of the post, obviously. The fact that that's, it's almost curved in behind the goalkeeper and completely caught her out, unlucky. Long here, Cam Schick, it's... Going to just about stay in play here. Kamchik has got fully for company. Not too many in the centre. Doherty heads it sidewards. And Crichton's going to keep this in play to try and clear it. Oh, it stayed in play. Jarosol the alert just goes for safety. Away from Grabowska. Towards Coolis. Love Grant peeling away. No shape at all in the likes of the defence at, at the moment. Well, they're concentrating more on going forward and getting a goal for themselves. It's a tricky one for the likes because if they were to concede now, it'd be hard to get two goals because they would need the two. City, regardless, just need the one. Doherty. Care. Just a little too far out to get enough power. Tried the looping job. She's done well with the effort. Keeper wasn't quite in the right position for it, and maybe if there had been a bit more pace in it, it could have looped over her, but she's done well to recover and get fully behind it. That was under with a firm boot from the pass. Space here, even though she didn't win the ball, but fell for Foley. Foley's taking a half a touch too many. Kishiora, now there's space down that side. What on earth is that? I just can't believe it. Love. Mm. 
Space up the other. It's Winscott. Magic around, but Ross gets in the way. Grant, half touch was foul, but play carries on with Shudnick. Oh, gets it back here, and Ross with the block in. Great play with her and Kamshik. That's a crucial start, a crucial start from Leanne Ross. I mean, that's on target, it's quite possibly a goal. So they do have the corner. It's bubbling around, Gerasoli gets something on it. Substitution coming, Gaswinska, Ross away. Tokati. I think he's having to stop things because City player on the floor. Ridiculous is going to make way then. Just out who had a superb game. It's Marta Hartrick looking to try and play her part in the final 40 minutes or so here. Kind of wish she'd come on a wee bit earlier. The interchange between her and Grant was top notch in the, the game against Marta. If they can hit the ground running these last 15 minutes, I would back one of them to score. Quick fire sub as well, Dominika Grabowska heading off and Ineska Shudrejewicz is on. Nothing for the next 15 minutes because I can't see her name. <laughs> you know she's going to score now. <laughs> Fully scooped up, Kea. Not picking out the pass. Even though that, Kea. Pass is misplaced. Clearance not happening though, even though we've got to end the one around. Chris Vinska looks up. Alexander wasn't quite come to her quick enough to keep hold. Just seems a wee bit rushed at sometimes from Glasgow City at, at the moment, just need to settle themselves. How it being held. Time starting to eat away now, so both sides, it's a scoreline that is not good for any of them here. It's Andelect, five or six miles along the road, that will be delighted about. 
Ross with this free kick. Crichton falling over in the box. Not happy. Spinska waters away. Doherty falling or slipping. Sovazovska couldn't find anyone else in green. Kerr doesn't get it cleared that far though. Alexander makes easy work of the long range at. Comfortable for her. She looked very confident as the ball came in. So. One's going to get you a, a tight spot. Karen Grant trying their best to win the ball back. It's at the wrong end of the park for the Poles as well. One back by Foley Crichton now for Grant. Through the legs. A couple of silent challenges in. Second ball didn't look like it was a... Uh, second ball particularly did not look like it had a, a ball touch at all. The carry on. Even though it's that... Trying to twist and turn away some space. Foley. Too long for anyone in orange. Leanne Crichton is at the other side here. Doherty. Love one it here. Howitt. Coming together. Goes against Kirsty Howitt. Harsh. Oh. Misplaced pass there. Even though she's here for Grant. Space in the middle. Very quickly closed down. One or two screaming for it, including Leon Crichton. Even though that Grant. Fully out wide. In space, she's got it. Trying to take a match check. I'm not entirely sure why the throwing was uh, illegal there. That's four, two for each team in the second half. Doherty long to absolutely no one. Loose from the keeper, Grant. Gets by Digus. And here towards Howard, but too close for Polinska. It's a long boot. Some plastic is that from Ross. Digus can only. Scoop it away. Six to play. Okay, I found how it not quite the touch. Doherty. Grant against Digus. Bounce three here for Doherty. Bounce around. Sam Kerr scored! Sam Kerr! A big goal! Less than six minutes to go. Is that the goal which takes Glasgow City into the last 32? What a hole for Scott Booth potentially. He's the 100th game in charge. Wow. And that just goes to show you, you, you just keep going. Excellent play from Doherty. 
first looked like the ball maybe wouldn't fall for her. She just keeps going, gets there in the end. Ball across the box is initially well defended, but it's then it's that second phase. Sam Kerr's there, she's alert, she's ready for it, gets on the end of it. It's only our second goal of the season. The other one came in the League Cup in a defeat against Hibs. That's incredible. She's not famed for being a goal scorer too often. But a big goal in the young career of uh, Sam Kett. And it almost makes things slightly more simplistic for Sutton because Lexington need two goals now because one goal isn't enough for them. Although Kamshek making the run here, Alexander had had the time, which is crucial here. The Polish side really can't. You know, they, they need to come forward in a big abundance and they need two goals. Yeah, exactly. It also means now Anderlecht are out. They, there's no scenario now that Anderlecht could go through from. But Glasgow City, what, we've got five minutes left. They've just got to settle, stay strong at the back. They have a safety net that if, if one goal is conceded, they can still, they will still go through at that. Is that a good thing? We'll find out. Who's the tallest player in the SWPL? <laughs> So, Jack Clark has got a first goal for Glass City against Mart have come on in the latter stages again here for Larry Evans. It's not a call it an attack and change, but they are very well in a comfortable position now. Don't need to attack at the same intensity. Spinska now with this free kick. Alexander gave the shout. That's exactly what Glasgow City want to see. Straight into the arms of Lee Alexander. Sure, then long. Kamsik chasing as is Sobostovska. Ross there first. Good run there, Sobostovska. Low driven shot is held with ease from Matchik. Final minute of the 90 of regulation time. Shakura on it. Press clearance and now lost by Rispinska. Here's Leanne Crichton. Kerr. 
Ken down to the corner. Three minutes value on time. We're just about to head into it. Report it. So the, the technical officer would report it. So. Alright. The women's game probably two and a quarter or something. Well, I've well, got it back there from how it. Grant gave it away. Gerasoli has not looked out of place at all in the Champions League stage. Still a minute to go then. Konitska through the middle here. And it's going to sail by from Matchek, top player for the side, but snuffed out of any real great chances throughout the game. And that's one of Lexner's best chances in the match as well. It's just a long ball forward, and at this stage, it's, it's what they need. It's maybe just a bit too late. One goal, as we say, doesn't change anything. Abby Grant going to make way in the last few seconds for Murray Cunningham. Pause for Abu Grant. Had came into the game more in the second half, you'd say. Like up. A couple of good chances, though. <laughs> and to uh, overtime, of overtime, then. This dramatic last group game. Yeah, it's over, and there may well be bigger wins against better teams in the Champions League for Glasgow City, but they've done this the hard way from losing in the first game to qualify as they have been a mainstay in the last 32 for this decade. And then Scott Booth's 100th game in charge. What a feeling at the Orient in Edinburgh to do it, and they do it late. They tend to do it late in the Champions League, and they did so through Sam Kerr, maybe an unlikely heroine for the side in orange, Stephen Bark. Yeah, it's, it's been a tremendous comeback. It, they didn't quite do themselves justice, I don't think, against Anderlecht in the first game. Since then, they've hardly put a foot wrong. Today, defensively solid. They never looked too troubled at the back. Lexon had a couple of chances. They did, did themselves proud as well. On the day, just wasn't quite good enough. And crucially, for Glasgow City, they've got those two goals, two well worked goals, and the second one, there's that wee element of luck about it the way the ball's kind of just fell for Nicola Doherty, the way that it's deflected nicely for Sam Kerr. But again, they've, they've still got to put it in the back of the net. Overall, 
I would say the better team won today, especially the way that Glasgow City were playing first half hour or so before they got their goal. Looking forward now, they can have a nice wee away trip somewhere in Europe. Something to enjoy, something to look forward to. Not that they necessarily need it when they've got such a, a difficult fight on their hands with Hibs on, on the domestic front as well. So it's, it's looking like a really good season going forward. Yes, the passports are right for Glasgow City. Uh, next month in the last 32 of the UEFA Women's Champions League once again. In a group that anyone in the top three could have felt like they could have qualified from, it's Glasgow City who win the group the hard way, but they've got the job done. We'll see you in the last 32. Final score then at the Orem. Going to election nil, Glasgow City 2.